AITA for making my partner's drinking water too warm. To set the scene, I, 35M, like to drink cold or chilled water and my partner, 33F, likes room temperature pre-boiled water. To accommodate for both our needs, we have a kettle for boiling water, after which it is transferred to two water jugs, which are either left at room temperature or used to refill the dispenser in the fridge. Onto the situation, three months ago I emptied both room temperature jugs into the fridge and boiled more water at night before bed. Partner came down, was furious she had no room temperature water to drink and we came to an agreement, don't fill up both jugs into the dispenser and leave her one. Editor's note to clarify since this part was a bit confusing for people in the comments on the initial post. Basically OP boils the water in the kettle and makes hot water. This is transferred to the two water jugs. One jug is left outside the fridge and cools to room temperature. The other is poured into the dispenser in the fridge, making cold water. Thus they are left with one room temp water jug and the equivalent of one cold. Fast forward to today, there was going to be some burst water main repairs outside by the utility company so in the morning before my partner woke up, I decided to make sure we had enough water to drink. I filled the dispenser with one jug, then have the room temperature water in the other jug into both. We had previously shattered a jug on a cold day when we poured boiling water in, so I thought I'd temper this by making sure the boiling water would enter lukewarm water reducing chances of shattering the jugs. I went back to work and thought nothing of it. Partner wakes up and goes down and she is furious. She doesn't have any room temperature water. I try to placate her by mixing the lukewarm water with water from the dispenser to make room temperature water but it's futile. She won't relent. She tips the entire bottle of water I mixed out into the sink and tries herself and can't get the temperature right either. She is absolutely raging at me at this point for not listening to her or caring about her needs. She storms out of the house in a huff. So AITA here or is perhaps this being blown out of proportion and mixing water to a specific temperature is not as big of a deal. Edit, okay wow, this really blew up. Who knew water would be so polarizing, never thought this post would start lukewarm Watergate. Just got off work and reading through all the replies. Looks like there's lots of questions so I'll do my best to answer them and provide some clarity. Who boiled the kettle and filled the jugs the previous night? I did. Why did you touch all the water? Firstly we don't have one jug for her and one for me, we have two jugs for the household, me and her. I forgot about the water mains being repaired until early this morning when the trucks showed up and they started working. I rushed down and made sure there was enough water for both of us. Not just me. On top of filling all the jugs and the dispenser and boiling another kettle full of water, I also filled a few sinks so we'd have extra water to flush the toilet if need be. I honestly thought the water would cool enough by the time she woke up since it's a cold day, but I guess I was wrong. I didn't expect her to react the way she did. Is she OCD? No, she's just pedantic about certain things and needs them to be a specific way. But I don't think it's any more demanding than any other person who is neat and tidy and has certain idiosyncrasies. Why don't you drink from the tap, slash are you Asian? Yes, we are an Asian couple. Many of you have guessed that. Drinking boiled water is cultural, and a preference. There is nothing particularly wrong with the tap water in our country, Australia, but it tastes better to my partner after being boiled. Warm, but not boiling water tastes different than cool to room temperature boiled water to her. So it's a preference. I preferred chilled water but I'd happily drink room temperature water or even warm if there wasn't any chilled water. I drink what we have, but preferred to have chilled. It doesn't affect me in any big way. This morning I just filled everything I could, including the dispenser. Why don't you use ice? I can definitely use ice but our fridge has a built-in dispenser, that we have to manually fill, so I do that from time to time with water from the jugs. Normally I will only ever use one, and leave one for her. This morning in my haste I used both as I wanted to make sure everything was full, dispenser, both jugs, and kettle. Why don't you have more jugs? Trust me this is definitely our next step. As well as the Brita water filter, but worried she might not like the taste, plus she might insist we boil it first before it goes into the Brita. Why did you pour half the water into an empty jug and fill both with boiling? As previously explained, we shattered a glass jug on a cold day previously pouring boiling water directly into it, because science I don't know the physics here. Anyways I was trying to avoid that and thought the boiling plus room temperature water would cool sufficiently by the time she woke up. I calculated wrong. Anyways hope that clarifies most of the questions. We'll post an update once we've reached an amicable resolution. My guess is that it's not about the water as some people have already said but there's other underlying issues and this was a trigger. Comment. Basically, the first time she had two jugs of room temperature water, then OP went in the kitchen and when he left she had zero jugs, and he now had two jugs of cold water. Then she asked him not to do that again and he agreed. 
Then the second time she had two jugs of room temperature water until O.P. went in the kitchen, after that O.P. had one jug of cold water and his partner had two jugs of hot water. She should take care of her own damn water when she had two jugs until O.P. touched them both times. Also cue a bunch of people calling her insane for caring what her water temperature is when O.P. cares so much about it that he'll take all the water to make it his temperature. Why can't O.P. just fill the fridge reservoir from the tap and let his wife have all the boiled water? Comment. I think that's pretty much what the wife was thinking and why she got so mad. She is super peculiar about the temperature of her water to the point where she can't drink it if it isn't right while he prefers it cold but will drink anything. And yet, he fills the fridge dispenser with her already prepared just right water and then boils more for her, but it can't cool down enough before she needs it. If he had poured her a glass or two beforehand it would mean that he was thinking of her comfort, but because he didn't, she felt uncared for. Update. So two years on, I thought I'd make an update to the original debacle that confused everyone and polarized the community. There was so many comments, some incredibly empathetic and helpful, some racist and mean but generally I don't believe there was ever a consensus reached. Despite all that, I was incredibly grateful to all the comments received from everyone. Whilst I didn't take the time to reply, I actually did read through them all. So as some people pointed out, our argument was not really about the water. Generally in every relationship, every person just wants to feel seen, heard, important, understood, and loved. My actions that day did not make her feel that way, and in of itself was more indicative of a longer-running issue between us in our relationship. For a bit of background, we both have, had, childhood trauma and the beginning of our relationship was quite volatile. Defying the odds we stayed together and got married, however marriage doesn't solve those issues. Over the last two years, we've continued to stay together, yes, we are still married, much to the chagrin of those who were advocating our divorce side eye and continued to grow together. Believe it or not the incident involving the water was a bit of a catalyst to us having better conversations regarding how we are going to resolve our own trauma and improve our communication. Long story short, she got therapy, I got therapy, we did some marriage counseling, she got more therapy, I got more therapy and it's been a journey, but a worthwhile one. When two people really do love each other, and want to work it out, they'll find a way to. I'm so genuinely grateful for my wife, who she was, who she is now, the strength she has and the belief she had in us, and more so in me. Our communication is better than it's ever been, our intimacy is stronger than it's ever been and we are at such an amazing place. The future looks incredibly bright. It took a lot of work to get here, and there's a lot more work left to be done, but we have each other's backs and we'll keep going together. Commenter, okay so I gotta ask. How many water jugs do you have now? OP, we have four, two for her, two for me ha ha ha. Commenter, but I still don't understand why the water. Wife must have felt seen, heard, blah 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 in other ways in the marriage. What was it about water specifically that set her off into a raging awe? OP doesn't say. OP, there was nothing specific about the water per se, think of it as the straw that broke the camel's back. Whilst it wasn't our biggest disagreement or fight, the fact it was over something so trivial made us both sit down and talk about the ludicrousity of the situation and realize there's way more underlying issues at play. To be honest I glossed over a lot longer of a journey we've been on, for some periods it was actually kinda touch and go for our relationship. It was like a swinging pendulum over the last two years, with periods of feeling hopeful, optimistic, loving to periods of frustration, disconnection and despair. And it was honestly really over the last six months that we started getting it, with it being firstly reaching a place where we are empathetic to ourselves, and our past childhood traumas, it's ridiculous how much that stuff affects us into our adult lives, and then secondly being truly empathetic towards each other and lastly communicating in a way that doesn't trigger the other person and being aware of our own triggers. Commenter, you should take a bow for such a Hall of Famer AITA post about water. There's been a whole summer of dreadful stories by out-of-school angsty teens who just want to rant. This issue was legendary and I hope too eventually found some humor in it as much as a lot of us did. OP, looking back now it's easy to find the humor and laugh together at the water, the jugs and everything. I'm as amazed as anyone that original post set everyone off as much as it did. When I go back and reread it, I can sense the frustration, confusion and overall panic in my tone of voice and in the way I explained the situation, it really was frantic and all over the place lol. Commenter, as someone learning to communicate and seeing improvement after couples counseling, started after 30 plus years married, congratulations. Having that stronger relationship is priceless. OP, you are so right. Investing into therapy for each of us individually and then as a couple is a tall order for any household but the results in our relationship is truly priceless. I still marvel at my wife's ability to hold space and empathetic and patient for me, and us, and I'm guessing she too feels the same about me which is why is still here right? 30 years is a long time and we can't wait to get there.